friends, welcome back. Happy to have you here. Thank you for joining me for another video in our All Fall series. I am really excited today. One, we will be working with some pie pumpkins. Super fun. Three for five bucks. Next, we're gonna clean out our little junk bin that has all kinds of scraps in it that you don't know what else to do with it. This is great for all of the new farm decor that everybody is incorporating into their homes. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, my friends, let's begin. I selected three pumpkins. I did like the shape on this one but I'm just realizing it that it's kind of shaped like myself. <laughs> Maybe that's why I gravitated towards it. And of course I put it on a pedestal as any queen should be. I went ahead and did this for some height. Then I'm using the larger pumpkin on the bottom. And then I have a smaller one that I am going to tilt to the side. And we're going to come in just like that. Grab your raffia. I got three of these little packs at the dollar store. And it goes so far. What you're going to do when working with raffia is you just untangle it. And then I start with my ends all at the same length kind of like we did in the other video with the cordage. It's just gonna come around and then you're gonna come around. And if you remember in the other video, we stopped there and just made a bow loop. Go ahead and use up all the raffia, come around and come around. Don't worry about how messy it is. It's raffia, it's supposed to be fun and messy and that's why it gets the country feel going on. And you're gonna twist, do our little twist that I taught you. There's your raffia bow. I have made six of the raffia tufts and I left about a inch wire on each one. And what you're going to do is you're just gonna take it and lay your wire underneath that pumpkin you wanna go ahead and tuck it in tightly so that it doesn't all come apart. I originally came up with this idea because I needed something for my pie table. When everybody starts coming in with their amazing desserts, I like to have a beautiful place to display them, all the pies and goodies. This could go on your island or outdoors, even on a large picnic table. So you're gonna just keep continuing around in a circular fashion. Stick around till the end of the video because I will post pictures. Or you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I would love to see all of your pumpkin centerpieces. I loved this because I am not the best at carving pumpkins. And these little pie pumpkins are a challenge. They are rock hard. Yeah, cutting those pie pumpkins, near impossible. I'd probably cut my finger off and have to go to the ER. So all of our raffia is tucked nicely under the pumpkins and we are ready to begin. I'm gonna go ahead in first with a little light source. If you know me, you know how much I love the effects that lights bring in and enhance when decorating. You wanna get the light source in ahead of time so you can help hide all of that cordage and of course the battery pack, which I'm gonna tuck that kind of underneath that pedestal. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab some leaves. I recommend if it is outdoors, you leave a little bit of stem on it and you're just gonna place them underneath the pumpkin. If it's gonna be indoors, stationary, kind of like mine is on the pie table, then I would, I am comfortable with just using some bits and pieces without any stem. Completely up to you. It depends on where it's going. So you're gonna go just like you did with the raffia and lift up that pumpkin and tuck it in. Get your little lights up in different levels. 
so that it'll help illuminate underneath. And basically what you're gonna do is just go around in a circle and add wherever you want to help cover that cord from the light. Then you can take some little bits of flowers and do the same thing. Let's see, kind of fill in that hole nicely with that. Maybe we'll pull in a little bit of deeper burgundy and red so it's not so orange. I want to talk a little bit about the focal point in the center of the three pumpkins. First, there is a great opportunity for us to build up from the base and then to the second, to the top. Because there's a natural hole between the three of them, your eye will directly want to travel through that hole. In design, you always want to cover those holes because it will keep your eye focused on what you want it to. What I want to do is come in with a stem of the leaves and pop that right in between it. And then I'm going to pull in this gorgeous yellow. What this yellow is going to do with all this orange is it works as a light source. I have a little acorn we could add in. If it didn't have a stem, you could take one of the stems off of your silks and just add that and give it a little bit more of some height and dimension going in that way. You can come in with some little bit taller and longer and maybe point them more upward so it's not so flat on the sides. A nice big leaf to help cover that back pedestal. I'd originally bought these. I was going to do like three separate things. One arranged without it being carved, one arranged with it being carved. But then I put them all together and kind of came up with this. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and do another video with them carved and one design decorated, just poking the flowers through. So if you have not yet, hit the little bell for future notifications so you don't miss out on that future video also. So then I'm just adding wherever I need to. And this is where you could stop. It'd be a great centerpiece as is if you're a little bit more simple. So I'm gonna go upward now. I went ahead and poked a little hole in the top of the pumpkin just so I could get this little scarecrow and it stick in easier. By adding to the top, we kind of up our creativity a little bit. I want to cover this stick right here. So I'm gonna go ahead with my wire and a little raffia bow and just go in to that stem. A little natural elements. I don't want too much flowers up here because I have so much going on down below. I like to keep it a little bit more simple up here. And then I just had this little piece kind of look like a little corn to me. So I'm gonna add that in. So what do you all think? Pretty fun, right? I think right now, five, I'm under $8 total for this entire thing. I've done a couple other things just to throw in if you have a little bit more space that you wanna fill. I did a fun little arrangement in a mason jar that I glued onto a dollar store candlestick and I filled it with candy corn and pumpkins, of course. And what I thought I'd do is just show you a quick little arrangement that you can do with the rest of your little scraps. I picked up the candy at the dollar store. Let's figure out where you want your bow and start tucking in with your leaves. Kind of get you a little bit of a good foundation started. And then Let's just go in with some more yellow, ties it all in together. If you haven't caught up on the past videos in my all fall series, please do so. And we're just gonna add some of that natural. 
give it a little bit of height. See, the candy completely covers the stems. Let's come around this way. And another yellow. Those yellow ones are nice and big, so they help cover all the holes. Tuck your raffia around. And there you go, my friends. There is another easy, inexpensive bouquet to do. Okay, my lovelies, I have one more thing for you. I have these little mason jar salt and pepper shakers, and I have some of those pumpkin candies, minus a few because my grandson came over. Of course, honey, have as many as you want. My grandbabies always leave with a pocket full of candy. This time it was pumpkins. Go ahead and start with that little raffia bow and get that going on in there. Depending on how big you want it to be, you just want it to be a little accent piece. Just get those couple little guys in there. A little bit of that pretty red. On that, you could take, take a few of the candies, kind of spread it around. And there you have it. Your pie table is ready. Or you can get it done ahead of time. Enjoy it for the entire month of November. Because you know who Mr. Inpatient is knocking on the door. I am close to wrapping up my all fall series. I thank you all for joining me. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You all rock. Until next time, with love, light, and many, many blessings. Bye.